A bid to prevent the spread of the coronavirus until about mid-June, activities related to tourism were not operating, including tourists visiting parks or other tourist attractions. Many who have invested in various commercial activities, especially in areas around the Akajara National Park, say that while the park was not receiving visitors, the number of buyers decreased because most of their buyers were visitors to the park or the hotels they stay in. <laughs> All the cooperatives, if they go well, we could get a thousand kilos of honey in one season. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we incurred losses because we weren't working. But we are now preparing to resume the activities. Most of the commercial activities taking place around the Akajira National Park are dominated by honey production that have large markets in hotels operating in and outside the park, fish farming, chicken and egg farming, jewelry and craft trade, as well as other tourist attractions. One of the resolutions of the cabinet meeting held on June 16th this year was the resumption of tourism-related services. Residents of Akagari National Park, especially those with business activities, are happy to be back in business after the losses incurred during lockdown. When they closed the park, our eggs didn't have market. We would even give out some to people. But now that they've opened it, it's nice and our eggs will get the market. Other projects to be revived are related to the park's development infrastructure, including a project to protect the natural lake of Jishanda and to help the Kopeko Fish Cooperative, something that members of this cooperative believe will change their lives. In addition to the business activities that the community itself has, there's also the Akajira National Park which sponsors them and the program to share the produce from the park. Karama Joseph, who coordinates the park with the community, says that such activities that uplift the community are going to be revived and will play a significant role in their lives. People are fishing and other projects are ongoing. Life is slowly getting back to normal. We have invested up to 60 million Rwanda francs in 100 homes and we have plans of investing up to 200 million Rwanda francs. So we are putting in a lot of effort. The Akajara National Park is the top tourist destination in Rwanda, receiving 49 1,500 people last year, generating $2.6 million, or more than 2.5 billion Rwanda francs.